Hey, youngins, Grandpa here. A lot of you youngins ask me what's going on with the trailer park. Y'all write me and, Grandpa, how about an update? So I'm going to give you one. This is just stuff that you're seeing. People are moving. People just packing their stuff up and they're getting out. It's really kind of sad, you know? It's really kind of sad. Trailers are getting ready to be moved. All these families have been displaced. The trailers you see, with the, they're getting ready to be moved. You know, youngins, it's terrible. A lot of, there's been a lot of hard feelings here. The, the people that own this park, they don't give a fuck. They care less. They got their fancy homes, you know, and they got their, you know, their set, you know, and 1,500 families here have to get out. Hopefully, I gotta come up with the money, but I got, I got to be out here by the first of the month. Still trying to find a place. It's kind of hard, you know, when, you, when your place was paid for it, all you had to do was pay your lot rent. You learn to live with that, you know? But my trailer can't be moved, so it has to stay and I have to go. And I guess they'll sell it for scrap or something. I don't know. But it's a shame, people. I'm just letting y'all see some of these images of what I see every day. It's sad, people. It's really sad. Just... And a lot of people like me can't afford to really leave right now. Right there was this black fellow over City Charleston. Had a cute little trailer. Always had a yard of the month, you know, he always kept his yard nice. He's gone. Right there was my friend Evan. Been friends with him for six years. Had a nice place, man. Had a nice deck, little building in the back and all. Gone. People here, they were nice people, gone. People right there, they're getting ready to pack up and start getting out. But they had to fix their trailer up first. Now this yard here, you talk about a beautiful yard. This guy had a beautiful yard. Had him a double wide there, had all kind of plants and trees. Gone. Trailer been there for years, gone. And I barely touched the trailer park yet. Why is it nobody cares about people? Why is it nobody really gives a damn about their, their fellow man anymore? Yeah, I got hard feelings, true. Do I think we were screwed? Yes. Do I think the true lux really give a fuck? No. I'm just showing you, I go down this road right here, there's about five places right down there. People, you're talking about lives here. You're talking about, you're talking about a school that's losing, you know, 450 students. Because this trailer park is full of kids. Look at there. Just steps. Just pulled that one out last week. It's like that all over this trailer park. They're taking four or five trailers a day out of here. And does anybody care? You know, y'all are out there and you got your homes and you're sitting there now this early in the morning, you're eating your breakfast or you're going to work or your kids are asleep because they're, they're out of school for the summer. Think about these kids. 
A lot of trailers like this one here have been just left. They've been left because they don't have the money to move it. Look at this. And I haven't even gone down two streets yet. I, there's one getting ready. That trailer there was abandoned because it can't be moved. But yet there were people living in there and that's all they could afford. When are we gonna stand up and say, we're tired of bullshit, we're fucking tired of Boeing. People like Boeing that are, that are just taking our lives away, taking our homes away. You know, I show you all this because this could be your neighborhood. Let's say Boeing opened up a plant near your house and they needed your land. Here in South Carolina, the government can just take the land. The government can just take it. They don't. Have, they don't. If you don't want to sell it to them, they'll take it. Not cool, people. Not cool. I really want y'all to see this. I mean, I'm not doing a whole lot of talking. That trailer right there. People just bought it not too long ago. They can't afford to move it. So they had to leave it. There's a lot of that going on, people. Does anybody care? Other than the and thing is, the damn rent still goes on. They're still collecting their rent. If you don't collect it, they evict your ass right then. You don't get a chance to do nothing with your trailer. People, I, I'm doing this because I want to show you the death of a trailer park. The death of a neighborhood. The death of a community. It's going to be the death of a school. And these stores right here don't realize it. 1,500 people spend a lot of money in the community. 1,500 people aren't gonna be here anymore. So these people are gonna be hurting. This trailer here, people can't move it, so they leave it. Boeing, True Luck, the company that bought, which I still say is Boeing, I don't give a shit what they, tell, they say. They should stand up and the people that can't move their trailers, give them a little something to help them. I don't understand. Nobody cares about their neighbor anymore. Nobody cares about their fellow man. So anyway, I'm home now. Hope you enjoyed your little tour. Kind of sad me. Bye.